Hello Aquarius and welcome to my channel and thank you for taking the time to watch this video. This is a work and career reading for Aquarius from the 6th of August to the 20th of August 2018. I put the decks I'm using down in the description box and if you would like a personal video reading the details are also in the description box. So please take uh, the time to like, share, subscribe and leave me a comment if these messages resonate with you. I'm starting off with the Angels of Abundance. I have shuffled this deck. I'm going to draw two cards just for advice and then I shall um, continue with the general reading. So the first one is detoxify your friendships and it says your abundance flow is being affected by the people that you are spending time with. So be discerning about your associations, uh, relationships and choose to be with people who are inspiring and generous. So detox your friendships. And the second one is positivity, faith, and optimism. You, you open the doors to positive experiences and opportunities with your positive expectations and energy. Do not allow negative energy or temporary setbacks to interfere with the path that you are on. Keep the faith and keep going. So be optimistic, be positive, and try and get over any friends that are not being positive or not being optimistic for you. So detoxify your friends. You need to surround yourself with positive energy. I'm going to use this deck here to just uh, draw some uh, cards for uh, the general read and uh, for the general energies. And then we will uh, do the general read after that. Okay. So the first one is calculated risk and that's the main uh, energy of it so you uh, consider all the facts before you take any risk and you need to have some planning strategy and vision uh, you've been also in the process of play, paying off some debts so you've been taking calculated risks and you have been um, you either have been uh, considering planning uh, working out a strategy in order to pay off these debts that you have so in the past you've got networking and loans so you may have had some uh, debts, this is probably the debts that you paid, you've taken some loans and your job you're working now is to try and pay these loans off. And you've involved recently in a lot of networking and communication, maybe you've been doing a lot of inter -work, internet work um, and you've been uh, communicating with a lot of people recently. So going in on the future you've got some decisions that need to be made and watch out uh, that you consider all the facts, you, it needs to be a calculated risk before you make a decision or else it will result in failure. So make sure that you are thinking very clearly, considering all the facts before you make your decision so that you don't um, fail at whatever's going to happen. So make sure that you are taking a calculated risk, which means you must plan, you must strategize, and you must have uh, see the future vision in order for you to not end up in a situation where there is going to be any kind of failure, financial failure. So maybe it is something that, you know, if you've decided to do something that might not be the right way, it might mean that you need to change your plans. So this is the Bright Idea deck, and I'm just going to draw this um, for the general read. I have shuffled this deck. Let's just draw some cards. The general read energy of the read is the shadow card, which means that you're feeling very, very um, alone, maybe uh, isolated and uh, maybe tied down uh, by your job. You might be feeling as though um, you're being oppressed at this particular moment. You're working very, very hard, uh, you know, very changed to that particular job, feeling like, you know, you've lost your identity. Uh, you can't see the light, you can't see what's coming to you. So a feeling of depression as well going with this card, a uh, feeling de of depression and isolation and feeling like, you know, um, it's almost as though you're working for the machine and the machine is not um, giving you any kind of um, light. There's no, there's, the energy is very, very dark within this. So you're feeling, your mood is pretty low at this particular moment and uh, feeling very, very chained, very, very oppressed at this particular moment. 
So the first card is the uh, doing an invention and it is crossed by conflict. So you might having uh, be working very, very hard at work, um, you know, trying to put a lot of effort into it and there might be some conflict. So some people, somebody is, uh, because this card is crossing it, so that might be some conflict uh, within the actual work situation where whatever you're doing doesn't seem to be um, appreciated and people are giving you a lot of grief uh, even though you're working so hard within the situation. So in the past, you have got variance. Um, you have been, here you are also working very hard and very, very disappointed that somehow things are not turning out exactly uh, like how you want it to. You had a plan uh, of action. You followed the plan. It doesn't seem like it's turned out the way you want it to. And you've put in a lot of effort uh, into this um, particular project or particular situation. And things right now uh, that you have in your hand doesn't seem to be what it was, um, what you planned it to be. So whatever it was supposed to be have turned out has not turned out the way you want to. That's in the last year. So going uh, in the last three months, you've got the synthesis card, which means that you've been putting a lot of effort into your work. You've been doing a lot of fine details, uh, you know, trying to make sure that you're using the right skills for the right job, um, you know, con concentrating on, on the little things. And you have been producing something, even though it's been very slow and laborious, a very, very uh, difficult task that you've been following, uh, but you've kept at it. And you've been keeping yourself really moderate in... in um, emotions trying not to go over the top so you know uh, keeping a balance within yourself but working really really hard and working on very very intricate fine detailed stuff so uh, on your mind is you know you've got a lot of um, um, you know demons if you like because this is the moon card and it's usually a card of delusion and illusion and things are not what quite what they seem it's that there's a lot of lack of clarity going on over here on your mind uh, maybe you're making uh, out that things are far worse than they are and uh, you know all this all these negative thoughts running around in your mind and maybe not sleeping well at night maybe having a lot of nightmares about it things are really up in the air even your money your finances your you know your home everything seems to be up up in the air and you may not be sleeping very well at this particular moment so going into the future you've got some sort of project that you have just been concentrating on and it is now uh, coming to the end of its um, coming to the end of that cycle of whatever you finished. So you are now ready to present this particular project to the world. The nine is a uh, conclusion. So you are, you have almost packaged it and ready to present it to the world. Um, and you're very, very proud of what it is. And you are expecting to get a lot of um, awards, rewards, recognition for this particular project. You're really, really proud of it. And you're very optimistic that it's going to make um, something really good is going to come out of it. Uh, with this yellow offered so very very being very very optimistic and knowing a uh, feeling that it is going to bring you a lot of abundance you've been working really hard on it and you yourself has uh, you know you you are doing something that you enjoy you love you've got a skill for it uh, you're very good at whatever you're doing um, and you know it's something that you've always wanted to do so you're following uh, your um, talent you're using your talent to do whatever work it is around you people see that you know you're a person who is takes control of a situation, you are very focused, you're able to overcome any doubts and fears and you don't have any illusions about things. So they see you as a really upstanding person in this uh, particular job with a lot of power, who can focus, who can concentrate, who can get rid of fears and a, you know, a go-getter, somebody who can go, go for it. Uh, you yourself um, are a, a bit obsessed with things. Um, you know, you might be concentrating too much on something, focusing on things that the, the finicky details rather than actually seeing the big picture. So you might be doing that at this particular moment, not really um, having a realistic idea about what the, the, the picture is. So uh, obsessing about something at this particular moment. Maybe you're obsessed about this particular project and you know, you're worried that it was, it's going, not going to turn out the way you want to. Um, you know, you're, you've been examining it very, very, with very fine details and you have a fear that it's not going to be a success. But there's no need for all that fear because the next card that comes up is Achievement. Uh, the Six of Wands usually is this card and it shows that you are going to get a lot of recognition from a lot of people for the thing that you have been doing. So you're going to be putting this thing out into the world, whatever it is, you're presenting it and there's going to be a lot of success that comes with it with this Achievement card. 
and uh, there will be a decision that you will need to make um, to get rid of any kind of obstacles that are in your way. You will have to decide how you're going to handle it, uh, you know, whether you're going to use technology to do it or you're going to just do it by brute force. So um, there's a need for you to decide how you're going to make uh, this decision that you have that is coming up. Um, it involves it might pro involve this project because after this achievement comes this decision. So a decision coming in hand and what it, uh, whatever you decide to do, you're going to need to work really hard um, at, um, at it. So you're going to have to also, this also in, uh, requires very skilled work, uh, very int intricate details, this particular thing. But there is success coming in after that. So you will enjoy uh, the success of um, whatever you put in. So whatever achievement you're having, it seems like you're going to have to make a decision about which way you want to go. And whatever path you choose is going to mean that you're going to have to work really hard within that particular path anyway uh, in order to uh, to reap the rewards and you will reap the rewards of it because uh, these people are enjoying uh, using those planes after this man has been working so hard on it so something that you're producing is really beautiful it's got a lot of um, fine details in it uh, you know there's a lot of little facts and, and things that you have to be careful of so a, a job that requires a lot of um, intellectual input into it but you seem to be very good and you are going to be very focused on that particular um, thing now so so uh, success coming to you so I'm just going to draw the um, Archangel cards just for some advice I have shuffled this deck I'll just draw three cards for advice So the first card is the Four of Earth, which says being too frivolous or too cautious with money, good business decisions, um, giving to those less fortunate. So this is the Four of Earth. So um, you know you you're making some good business decisions at the moment, and you are watching your finances quite uh, carefully, which is a good thing. Uh, the second one is the Ten of Air, which says the end of a difficult situation. Embrace the change and expect things to get better, recovering, recovering from ad addiction. So you are ending a cycle uh, where you've had uh, problems and that is all coming in. Uh, and so you need to make sure that you embrace this change um, and things will start getting better. So end of a cycle there. And the Four of Air says a time to rest or take a vacation. Allow more time before making a decision meditation may provide the answers so you will need to get some rest after any kind of stress that you've had and take a little bit of a break um take a little bit of vacation but all in all it's a reasonably good spread because it says that you know whatever project you've been working so hard on uh will produce a lot of success but it doesn't mean that the uh, hard work is over in fact it might seem like it's just the beginning of hard work so more effort and hard work going into that but whatever way you're going, it seems that you're going the right way. And there is some minor conflicts going on in your work uh, situation. It might just be a little bit of, um, you know, arguments rather than actual uh, something to be uh, worried about because it doesn't seem that it, it has any impact on, on the rest of your reading. So just minor, minor arguments going on around you. But definitely the best card is the achievement card so that you have uh, achieved success and recognition for any kind of project that you have put in and you are being seen as somebody's bold and who can get things done and people do realize that you are working with your talents so you're very good at whatever you do so things looking up uh, for you so i hope that this uh, reading has resonated with you and uh, please make sure to subscribe to my channel and thank you so much for watching take care now goodbye